Hi, brothers and sisters. Okay, so the Lord's want me to get on here and just talk about having the heart of God. You know, when, when we have the heart of God, you know, we seem to love as he loves, right? We seem to love all his creation. We seem to love even those uh, that reject him. We just hate the sin behind what they do, right? Um, you know, he gives us all types of different gifts. For example, he's given me the gift. He has not given me the gift of uh, dreams or visions or uh, the gift of interpretations, right? He's not given me those, but he has given me the gift of tongues, the gift of compassion, uh, the gift of faith, which I would have never gotten through what I've gotten through without him, number one, and without him giving me the gift of faith. Um, the gift of compassion If you have it, you know what I mean. It can be a blessing and a curse at the same time. Um, you know, because you seem to be overwhelmed at times with what's going on in the world. You know, uh, if you're like me, I cry a lot. Um, so many times I can't count. I will watch something. I will see something. It doesn't even have to be in the real world. I will watch Law and Order SVU, and I will see and, and know that these things do go on in the real world, even though this is, you know, the episodes are not are faked. But these things really do go on in the real world, and so I'll sit there and I'll cry over the episode of what's going on whether it be something as a small kid or not, you know. And and so the gift of compassion can be a blessing and a curse. But when you have his heart, and what I mean like that, what I mean is when you have a heart like God, like God's, you, as I said, you love as he loves. You no longer want to do sin. Now, every one of us sins. We all fall short, short of the glory of God. Not one of us, not a single one of us has no sin in us. Okay? We all have our problems. We all, we all still sin. We all fall short of the glory of God. Yet, when you have a heart like God, you want, and I'm so sorry, I am seeing like these little, I guess they're gnats, like two of them flying around and they're driving me crazy. I'm like, Ugh! when you have a heart like God, I don't even know where I was going with that. Lord, help me. <laughs> okay, so when you have a heart like God, you no longer want to be in the world. You no longer want to do that sin. You know, you repent of your sins. You, um, <laughs> there it goes again. <laughs> you, uh, you want to, and that's just the enemy. I know I'm just trying to get my thoughts off track. You want to live in the fullness of his will and not just the way you want, you don't want to just live in his will when it suits you. Okay. No, you want to live in the fullness of his will, even when it is uncomfortable, even when he asks you to do something that you really don't want to do, but you do it. You want to obey his commandments, you know, and that is what he wants. You know, he knows we're human. You know, we're always going to fall short of his glory. He knows. You know, we mess up. But we come to him. We ask for forgiveness. You know. And, and that's what he wants. He wants us to have his heart. He wants us to be having a heart like God. And so, you know, I believe most of us do have that. 
If you are a true bride member, you do. You know, you don't get on here and bash someone on YouTube. If you are a true bride member and you have the heart of God, you just don't do that. You know, if so you disagree with someone, unless you're led by the Lord, you won't make a comment. You know, for example, if I get comments, negative comments, which I, by the grace of God, I believe, I believe it's him, have not really gotten many negative comments recently. And I'm very shocked on that. I'm very shocked. Everyone has been kind and loving and having a heart like God. All the comments. Um, but I did get one yesterday, which, you know, is okay. You know, this person is allowed to have their opinion. But at the same time, you don't go and bash someone, your fellow brothers and sisters, if you have the heart of God, you know, and um, if you have the heart of God, you know exactly what I mean, you know, you know exactly what I'm saying. So, he wanted me to get on here and just let, you know, I think many of you know you already have the heart of God. And if you don't, now you do. You know? You know? Now you do. If you are love, you know, and of love, if you love even those around you that are mocking you, that are scoffing you, that say, ha, <laughs> ha, well, where is he? You know, you said he's been coming for years. So, yeah, okay, we're going to be here next year. Well, you know, I'm not saying we're not. I don't believe we are, but I'm, I'm not saying we're not. But at the same point, you know, you still love these people, even if they're not your family members, you know? You know, even if they're uh, coworkers or friends or whatever have you, and they are pretty much beating you down, laughing at you, mocking and scoffing at you, you know, as they did Jesus in his day. And that's what he told us, right? That as they hated him, so shall they hate us. And they do. And, you know, even our family members who do love us, you know, my, my family members, they love us. They love me. But, you know, when it comes to me trying to uh, talk about the return of Jesus, you know, they just kind of, some of them let it go in one ear and out the other, some of them um, laugh, uh, some of them do mock me, scoff me, you know, but that's okay, that is okay, because that's what they did to Jesus, excuse me, my voice went out, <laughs> that's what they did to Jesus. <laughs> that's what they did to Jesus and so shall they do with us now I truly believe that we are on that edge and there goes another one and that's another thing with the gift of compassion he has made me where I do not want to kill not one animal now I do not believe it's wrong to hunt okay don't get me wrong I've got I live in Texas <laughs> for the Lord's sake there's hunting that goes on I don't believe that's wrong but for me, for me, for example, if I crush a snail, <laughs> I cried once when I crushed a snail. I really did, you know. But that's how he's made me. You know, I got off topic. Uh, but that's that's part of the gift of compassion. And I see these little things flying around and I'm like, yeah, yeah. So, but the main point, he wanted me to get on here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> main point you wanted me to get on it is basically just say hey we have a gift of God I mean we have oh, excuse me we have the heart of God and if you have the heart of God it's a wonderful wonderful beautiful blessing and cherish it cherish it you know he gives us so many gifts there's an infinite gifts that he gives us we could never describe all the gifts that he gives us you know and i'm not talking about just the gifts in the bible there are so many others 
his love for one thing. You know, we're, we shouldn't be able to love him. We shouldn't be able to have his love. And yet, here we are, and we do. And here we are, and he counts us righteous. He counts us righteous and holy and worthy as him. And he counts us worthy to escape what is coming. And that is not on us. I, by no means, am perfect, nor have I ever been perfect, nor will I ever be perfect. I sin. I fall short of the glory of God. I go to him and I repent, you know. Um, and I try not to do whatever it is that I did, you know. And so, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, I had to pause it. <laughs> I had to like pause it to remember. Anyways, but when you have a heart like God's, cherish it. Because that is something very, 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 very special. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you guys so much. So much. Um, I am praying for each and every one of you. And uh, I believe we are we are at that time now. I truly believe we are at that time now. If 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 we're not, and in, in, in October passes us by, forgive me. I'm all like oh, checking my hair. If October passes us by, then we will continue to do what we are doing for the glory of God. All for the glory of God. Nothing for us. Nothing for us. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. Nothing for us. All for the glory of God. Okay, brothers and sisters, it's driving me crazy. Um, I love you guys so much. Shalom.